It's no secret energy prices have been on the rise recently. Manufacturers and suppliers notice this the same way you do at home. And that's just one reason more suppliers are talking about sustainability in their product design. Welcome back to the LED revolution. Just because you talk about sustainability doesn't mean you can affect sustainability. You can only drive innovation so far by using the same components in different configurations. In order to create real change, it's vital to control your supply chain, change the way you engineer and manufacture, and know how to iterate and innovate quickly. Here at LED Studio, the result of that innovation is a high quality, low cost COB display that completely changes the way we're thinking about sustainability in the DV LED space. To understand where that innovation comes from, let's compare SMD and COB displays and why we have the ability to make a difference. In DV LED displays, energy must be expressed in one of two forms, light or heat. Obviously, as a product intended as a display surface, the goal is to maximize the amount of light and minimize the amount of heat. As you can see, the SMD pixel structure has many component layers which all add to the electrical resistance, particularly the RGB diode bonding wires. When you have millions of pixels on screen, all of these components and connections quickly stack up in the form of electrical resistance and heat energy resulting in a less energy efficient solution. In fact, in a single 1080p SMD display, there are over 12 million bonding wires. That is a lot of electrical resistance. In contrast, if you look at the COB structure on the right, you can see the difference. The huge reduction in component layers is why COB runs cool to the touch. There's substantially less between the input current and the light on the front of the display. So, how does this lack of resistance help us to form a sustainability perspective? Well, let's look at an example. Current industry data as of February 2024 tells us the fastest growing display resolution is a 1.5 millimeter pixel pitch at 600 nits. The average SMD at this size and brightness from across major brands runs about 199 watts per square meter. Our Solaris COB at the same pitch and brightness is running at only 117 watts per square meter, which for those of you keeping track is 40% less power. That's a huge savings both upfront and more importantly over the life of the display. And those savings stack up very quickly as your display grows in size. Now, I wanna be clear. SMD still plays a very important role in the DV LED indoor marketplace. Anything over two millimeters requires an SMD chip, and even some of the narrower displays still benefit from SMD, where very high brightness, physical flexibility, and other factors are required. But we can now say that from a cost perspective, COB is an option that is just as viable on the tighter pitch displays. And if you wanna save up to 40% on your energy and be on the cutting edge of eco-friendly display technology, look no further. You've found it in COB. Our Solaris is second to none. Find out more information on the Solaris in the link below. And for more information, don't forget to subscribe.